Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to a very special staff showdown here at Privateer Press. I'm Will Hungerford, lead developer at Privateer Press, or a ninja that has replaced him. And this is Andy Gill, our Kickstarter producer here at Privateer Press. If you've, Andy, you've been on streams, but have you ever been on the camera before? I don't remember. I was on the camera last time. Yes, you were. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. in a little tiny box, and I was kept there for a couple hours. But um, uh, have we ever, we've never had you on a battle report before, have no, we? No, we've never had So this is your battle report. report debut. It sure is. Awesome. We're going to be playing Warcaster today. Andy is going to be playing the new Empyreans, but we'll talk about that a little bit more. There's a couple of things we want to talk to you all about first. First off, Mini Crate. Can't have a privateer press stream without us talking about Mini Crate, especially with one of the most adorable Mini Crate models we've put out in a long time. The Winter Watch is available till November 19th. That is an alternate pig lookout model. If you go to mini-crate.com, you can order it by itself or you can get a six month VIP. If you do the VIP subscription, you will also receive Fiona from the Black Lagoon in your next shipment. Over on the Legend of the Five Rings side, the current model is Togashi Yoshi, available till November 4th, so time is running short on that one. And the VIP model is Shika Spirit Dancer. Finally, at the Savage Mini Crate, until November 12th, we have Conan in Chains. He is so heroic. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, Tony. We've made so many Conans. I, I think I missed Conan with the M60, and my life is very sad now. You got them all? You got all the Conans? That's pretty... So beyond the mini crates, the big thing going on at Privateer Press right now is the Kickstarter. Yep. Warcaster's second Kickstarter, Collision Course, went live not that long ago. Time has no meaning anymore, so I feel like it was last week. Does that sound right, Andy? Was it last week? Last I don't know. Was it last Monday? It was last Monday, yeah. Last All Monday. Right. It was last Monday. Uh, still up right <laughs> now. So... If you are looking to get into Warcaster for the first time, this is still a great Kickstarter because you can get the command starter boxes for any of the factions, not just the new one. We also just put up full battle force pledges, which means that you can get a full battle force for your army of choice for just one single click. That's awesome. Yeah. That's sweet. Uh, also, Collision Course introduces vehicles to the game, so you can kickstart any of the new vehicles, which will be playable in your normal games of Warcaster, as well as the new race mode, which will get the rules for that in the Collision Course rule set that is available when you get it. I think pretty much any pledge you, you, you do, you get the rule book. I believe so. Yeah. That also comes with new scenarios, yeah. some of which use vehicles, some of which don't, but you get new scenarios basically no matter what. So you want to yep. check that out. Now, there's a couple of things I want to introduce to our game. First off, if you see this giant line here in the middle, don't worry, your screen is not damaged or cracked whatsoever. It might uh, be. I hope it isn't. This is our COVID barrier. As you can see, we're <laughs> taking all the precautions we can. We're socially distanced. We have our ninja masks on. And Tony has built a gigantic plexiglass uh, mirror. This is not a mirror because I can see through it. It's like a mirror in a police station. Uh, in between, as a sort of giant buffet sneeze guard to make sure that we don't end up uh, accidentally infecting each other. Although I don't have it, I hope you don't have it either. We'll find out. Oh God, <laughs> that's the most horrifying <laughs> answer that you could have been given. Uh, there's another thing uh, today for the train. Uh, we've built ourselves this super rad sort of just like industrial facility in the middle of yeah. all kinds of like ladders and, and staircases and multiple layers with our scattered terrain sort of around the edges. So this is the, the, the central focal point of our table. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of this table has been built using Tinker Turf. So uh, our friend Lane, Tinker Turf makes, this is all, we didn't paint this by the way. These pieces all come basically pre-painted. Yep. Uh, you just grab the pieces, you snap them together. I think almost- You glue them. So you, what you do is you, it, comes, it comes in a flat pack, right. similar to uh, like tokens in a board game. And they're actually printed on like super heavy duty card stock. Yeah. Like the same, the same they use game, board game boards. Enough to hold up a miniature. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, you, you glue them together and you fold them and. But in storage, yeah. in storage terms, like this thing, obviously we don't keep it all in the box like this. You, you glue the individual pieces like Andy's saying, but then to build this, you just snap like feet on, you snap legs into certain places. Like it's very easy to be incredibly modular with it and yeah. build the pieces you need and kind of create whatever you want to. So you thank can. you very much, Tinker Turf. Thank you very much, Lane, for uh, giving us these pieces so that we can create this super sweet terrain board. Yeah. So let's go ahead and talk about what we're doing today. On today's game, we're gonna be playing a skirmish game using two of the uh, command starter boxes. 
I am playing the Eternus Continuum box. That is the one that's been available for, for some time. Uh, that's the one that's going to have you know, the Marauder, uh, the Immortal Weaver. I'm going to have the regular Vassal Reavers and the Scourge. Kit it out exactly like you see. But the new hotness for this game is going to be what Andy's bringing. And Andy is bringing the Empyrean starter. Yes, I am. So why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit of what, what's in that. Yeah, so we have a, uh, this is the Saber Strike Force. It's our kind of basic uh, troop. Uh, they got kind of a good mix of ranged and melee. We also have the uh, Demon Warjack, or Daemon? Demon, Daemon? Let's go with Demon. We'll go Demon. Yeah, I like Demon. Uh, and uh, it's kitted out with a Galvanic, uh, Galvatronic Lash, Gravitronic Lash. I'm terrible with names, I'm sorry people. <laughs> Uh, Gravitronic Lash, a uh, Starfire Array, and a Plasma Blade. So we got a really good mix, again, of uh, melee and ranged. And specifically with that uh, Gravitronic Lash, I have Winch, which means that I can just snap someone up with my weird tentacle laser, bring them to me, and then just wail on them with my sword. And I want to interrupt for just one second. Oh, yeah. it, was, it was my mistake. I believe I put Saber Guardian Squad on the screen, but they yes, are actually is, the Saber Strike Force. It is force. actually the Saber Strike Force. Next, we got my Oculus, which is similar to a Weaver for the other factions. And then we have uh, a Fulcrum, which is a kind of support solo, which just kind of goes around and helps my dudes out and has a and pretty murder sweet, things. Yeah, have a really sweet void cannon with range 12, pow 4. That's it's pretty brutal. Cool. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about the scenario we're playing today. We're playing the first skirmish mission from the core rulebook. We're playing Boiling Point. So if you look at the table, there are three objectives. Now, this table is a little bit bigger than a skirmish size, which is 30 by 30. So we are kind of, we've marked off the edges using the terrain. Like, for example, that where this rock ends, actually this whole area is, is not playable. It's that forward. There's three objectives. There's one right here. There's one right there. You can see it right here. And there's one that is going to be a little hard to catch on the camera, which is on the other side of this building, but that's mainly because, again, we wanted to build cool-looking terrain. <laughs> so as a skirmish mission, three pulse rounds, three turns per pulse round uh, per player. Uh, in this one, when a unit ends its activation, within range and controlling an objective, you score a point. It's worth one point during the first round, two during the second, three during the third, and each objective can only be scored by a player once per pulse round. So on turn or round one, the max points a player could get is three if they manage to go get all three, six in the second round if you manage to get all three, and nine in the third round, at which point I think your opponent's not playing the game. Like, if you're able to get the perfect score, I think your opponent's just been sitting over there just watching you, being like, cheering you on. It is very hard to, to match yeah, your score on this. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we are live, obviously, on Twitch and Facebook at the moment. We will be trying to answer people's questions as we can. Obviously, we have to pay attention to the game and keep the game going so that this all wraps up in a timely fashion for all of you. But we will stop and uh, try and try and get to some questions. For those of you watching, I saw a couple of people asking about like War Machine stuff, IKRPG stuff. Uh, we're going to be focused on Warcaster today, so we probably won't answer a ton of questions on that. But uh, I do want to let everyone know uh, for War Machine, the next major update you should expect to see is going to be at the end of November. It'll probably be before Thanksgiving. Uh, fingers crossed that nothing goes wrong. And that is going to be the post-CID Trollblood update plus a bunch of bonus things that nobody knows is coming. Uh, <laughs> they affect legacy models, no new models. Uh, surprise, some fun stuff's on its way. So let's go ahead and roll to see who goes first. All righty. You got a, a three? I'm going to call it now. Go ahead. Yeah. One. Oh, you just had to prove me wrong. I know. Oh. Tony, turn the counter on. Oh, boy. We have a dropped die counter. Please mark me as one. I got the three. You got okay. the three. Yeah. All right. So deploying up to five points of models completely within five inches. I think I'm going to start pretty simple. I'm going to just start uh, with... Within, not completely within. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah. The, so, uh, the dangers of doing development I know, on... I know, it's crazy. So we're going to start with the Marauder. I'm just going to do just the Scourge and the Marauder. Okay. Um, boop, 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 boop. I think... 
So I'm going first. Let me take a quick look at my Cypher cards and see if there's a way. I don't think I have anything that's going to let me get that middle one on turn one, unfortunately. But I will still go ahead and put myself right about. All right. That is me, sir. Okay. I think I'm going to be doing something kind of similar here. So I'm going to take my demon. Or did we already just, say Damon? Which one did we decide on? Uh, you know, it's your army. It's so my army. I'm going to say Demon because it's just easier to remember. I would say Demon. Uh, War Buggies just cheered us for, the, for dropping die. Well, if we get cheers every time I drop die, <laughs> get ready. <laughs> because So Tony has built this sort of like a basketball goal. And when I roll dice, I like sling them. And there's this little gap right here. And there's the backboard. And man, am I bad at basketball. <laughs> because I just... I send those things all over the place constantly. All right, so that's a two. So these guys are about two inches of each other. Oh. Well, hey there, demon. And let's get our Oculus out. They're going to hang out over here. So I got everything out but the fulcrum. So that's five points worth of models. Sweet. Fun times will be had hopefully by all. <laughs> we'll Ho see. Hopefully by all. Okay, my turn starts. Uh, Andy, I hope you have a good game. You too. Yeah. I would your hand, shake your hand like normal, but so yeah. glass we high can... five. Shh, don't actually touch it. Are we? <laughs> it would be hilarious if we were like. I just, and then it shatters. shatters. Yeah. All right. So ready phase, obviously nothing has any activation tokens. Charging phase, uh, I will move one arc onto the Marauder because while they are charged, they get to remove activation tokens. Yeah. And I will be summoning something else this term. Uh, as much as I would like to be putting it on him and having him take some shots, take a quick look at my cipher cards and make sure there's nothing I really, really need to play here. Not quite yet. So we're going to activate the Scourge and the Marauder. Mm -hmm. Marauder. You're not in range to do anything. So the Marauder is simply going to move here and stay in cover. He'll stop in his activation. I'm controlling that point. I score one VP. Oh boy. <laughs> Just let's go ahead and get the easy stuff out of the way. He gets his activation token. Scourge, I think you're just going to walk yourself up into cover as well. Yeah. And then I've got the rocket pod, which is range 12, and the nailer, which is range 10. I doubt I'm in range of anything. No, I am not. No way to fix that. Get an activation token. That will end my. T oh, wait. I should put down a void gate, shouldn't I? I should. Yes, something. you should. It's a hard choice, actually, because if I just let them both drop off, I can have the Scourge go again and take the, the middle point. If I, do, if I summon anyone, though, only his activation token will end up going away, and I'll have to go with that unit next. And you're not going to kill him, and you don't have... What's the speed on the demon? Uh, speed on the demon is six. So you don't have enough speed to get up into contest range or get there. Probably. So I think I am actually not going to drop a gate this turn Hmm. because I really want to go with the Scourge again. So yeah, uh, I will just stay on there until my ready phase. I will choose not to put down a Void Gate, and I will have to choose not to deploy the thing. I don't end up playing another Cypher card. I will discard Velocity Projector and draw back up to five, though. Uh, your turn. Okay. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, it's the ready phase. Obviously, there's nothing also ready need, or needing to be readied here. Uh, I will charge my unit of Saber Strike Force dudes, though. Meowdy. 
And now that they are charged, they get all kinds of fun stuff going on, like they have the Havoc engine, which means that uh, if you get up close to me, I am able to attack with multiple weapons, and every time I hit, I can keep going. Uh, but I cannot do the same weapon twice with a Havoc weapon. Oh. So, Sorry, I had dev brain. I forgot, you summon, you, you summon before gate, so I should put my gate down. Yes. Yeah, I totally yes. had that. Totally yeah, had yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. I'm crazy, and I do crazy things sometimes. I'm going to put a gate up here. Dev brain. Uh, I'm going to put two on it. Yeah, we'll put two on it. So sorry, I put a gate up on the bridge. Okay. Now that I'm now, done cheating. Now that I'm done cheating. <laughs> back to you. All right. Uh, so. I'm gonna activate them. I'm not even gonna measure because they're just gonna move here. Yep. Get into cover within two inches. They are there. Obviously I take that, so I get one point. And now we're gonna have some more fun. I'm gonna play, uh, wait a second. Okay, I messed up. Hey. So did I. I, right. I, I but what would you need to do? Oh, I was going to play. I was supposed to play a Cypher card before I did my activation phase. Do, do Just it. Just do it. I'll do it. All right. Ascension Catalyst on him. He gets plus two speed and flight. Uh, and he has the uh, Eidolon head, which means that he has Arcanum module. So when I target him with a Cypher, I can charge him with up to one arc. Okay. If he doesn't have any arc on him. No, he's not, he's not going to be able to activate this turn, though, right? Uh, he's just... going to be able to activate this turn. Well, I thought it oh, you're right. No, it's a unit in a solo. Unit in a solo. You are right. All right. Well, I'm still going to just charge him because uh, he needs to be charged. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm charging him because he needs to be charged. I mean, yeah. Uh, in that case, then I will activate my uh, Oculus. Sure. They are going to... And if you... Oh, go ahead. You did want to play that cipher card because if you wanted to take it back until yeah. you activate the jack, like yeah, let's take it back. Okay, absolutely. Well, now you know I have an ascension catalyst. I've fooled your plans. Oh my god, he's figured me out. Okay. In that case, he's gonna walk up to the cover here. Is he in range to shoot me with any he, gun? He is in range to shoot you with a fury. He's my Weaver. Sure. He has a gun, though, as well, yeah? He does have a gun as well. Range 10, pal 3. It's pretty good. Is he range 10? Yeah. I think it'll, it'll fit, right? Uh, no, actually, he's a just, he's just a bit short. Just okay. out. All right, well. So is that his activation is ending? His activation is ending, but he's going to do a... Uh, Cast a Fury. Okay, go for it. Uh, he is going to do... Instability equation. Uh, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't sound sure about I, that one. You know, there's another one that's pretty good, but, but this does more damage, and I want to start bringing that guy down. Um, so, obviously, so within 14 inches. He's base range 14? Woo! Yep. So good. And all right. My focus is four, so four dice. Plus I have one, two, three, four, five, six mm -hmm. in my fury pool. I'm death my... three, but I'm getting cover. Yep. All right, and if I hit, uh, you're gonna take a pal four hit. Uh, it causes blast damage, but there's no one near you, so. Sure. Show me what you've got. Oh boy, we got three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven? Well, I have foiled you, sir, because I have rolled a five. So you beat, me, right. by, beat me by beat two. Beat me by two, or beat you by two. What's the pow on it? Uh, it is pow four. Okay. So four plus two. I'm armor four. Oh boy. Armor four, I got 
Six, so one damage going to your jack. He'll take it. And now he has uh, been, he's gone through his whole doohickey with the uh, cipher. So arc capacitor means that he gets to be charged for one. Yep, whenever he is used to channel a fury, right? Yes. He's this used be to channel a fury, and if he doesn't have any arc on him, you get to add one. And that's one of the things that the Eternus Continuum does. They have a lot of abilities that let you allocate arc just by doing things, usually with ciphers. Yep. Like target, you know, with a cipher, they get an arc. Use the, the Weaver to channel a fury, give it an arc. They are the masters of, of arc flow is one of their main like design points. Yeah. So that is me. Mm -hmm. Would you like to place a gate? I sure would. I'm trying to figure Don't out Don't make the same I mistake I did. It. I think... Five inches from a warrior. You know what? Let's let's start using this cool. Um, Neural Nine in Twitch chat says, "Can we get a death clock on screen?" You may not. We're not playing no. on death clock. <laughs> this will go until we're done. <laughs> uh, I'm just. Why did I even put a unit up there instead of a gate? There we go. And one. Ta-da. Okay. Would That's you like me? to discard uh, any cipher cards before we drop to five? You know what? I think that I am not going to. Okay. So please Drown move back the, up to five. Well, I'll let you be in charge of the pulse tracker, Andy. Therefore, only it. one of us is touching it. Dude. Therefore, we do not. Hold on, though, because... Oh. Never mind, it is a different unit I was thinking of. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. All right. So turn two, pulse round one. So ready phase, both all my models have activation tokens, so we'll yoink those. And Hungerford, can you confirm the score, oh, please? I'm going to put my activation Scores one tokens. Scores one. One, one. Uh, charging phase, I'll go ahead and move one on to the Scourge, because I think he's going to get some work done this turn. Pre-activation Cypher, I don't believe I have anything I really, really need to play. Because I need to stand on that objective so that I can get the point and stop you from getting a point. Mm -hmm. How much arc do you have on that gate? One? Just one. Sure. I'm going to play uh, Divination Algorithm. Uh, choose, a friendly uh, choose a friendly unit. I'll choose the Scourge. Mm -hmm. uh, ranged weapons get plus one range and mm -hmm. plus one POW ends at the end of the round. Um, so that is in play. Let's go ahead and activate the Scourge. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to jump out from behind cover so that I can be on this. Uh, and I'm going to shoot... Let's just start with the rocket pod up at your void gate. All right. Uh, you'll have cover because you're at a higher elevation than me. Yep. I am only rat three, but I do get one extra red die because of my arc on me. Let's see if I can't get lucky. Whoa. I rolled a four. That's pretty good. Uh, death three on void gates, correct? Sounds mm -hmm. accurate. And that you've got cover. right. Yeah, and cover. So plus two. Hey, Kay. that is more than, what did you roll, three, four? Four. Yeah. I'll normal. shoot the, the nailer at it next. Okay. Same idea. I rolled a three. Uh, higher than three. All right, Void Gate, you get to survive this time. Ta-da. Uh, I'll end his activation within range of that objective marker. No one's uh, contesting it, so I secure it. Tony, I score. One victory point. Uh, I have a blast roll, sorry, on the rocket pod. So even though I miss you, I still get to roll the base pal. Yep. Uh, don't get any red dice. And I do get the plus one from this. So it's pal four. Uh, I get the plus one because of uh, divination algorithm. So uh, your armor five because you're void gate. Yep. I have five white dice to roll five hits to knock that, that arc off. Yeah, you know what? Easy game. And that's a two. All right. That is three less than five. Sure is. 
Okay, Marauder, it's time to shine. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. Don't you wobble like that, please. All right, so we are in range. This is how I would want to go out, crushed by plexiglass on camera. <laughs> <laughs> during, uh, during a live stream of Warcaster? Yeah. Uh, he's going to move up to there, my Marauder. Obviously only going to be in range of the Shredder. I am in range of the unit. So let's go ahead and shoot. I'm going to go and do the strafe roll now to see how many other guys I get to shoot at. Sure. So strafe roll, I'm going to get to hit one other fella. Uh, I am rat four. Plus one for the arc on me. Uh, what's their defense? Defense of these guys is three. Okay. And uh, you definitely have cover. Do have cover two dice. So here we go. Uh, so middle middle, uh, middle soldier. Guy? I rolled a one. I rolled a five. And then the strafe roll on the other one. All right. Much better. I got a five. Oh snap! I got a five. All right. So uh, winners, attackers win ties. So you do get to roll uh, damage, but no power dice. How four? What's your armor? Three. Hey, you got one. And which one were you targeting? That was the one of been the one on the end. This guy. I, yeah, yeah, I missed the guy. All right, his activation is over. Let's give him an activation token. Though I uh, am so last time, the reason that they were both able to go again, if I had used the Marauder's ability which is impulse reactor wall charge. If this unit has an activation token on it, the start of your turn, you can remove the activation token. Yep. So it was at the start of my turn. They both had it. Yep. So he's got one right now, but I will, unless he's dead, end up yanking that back off of him at the start of my next turn. Uh, so he'll be able to go with whatever I end up summoning out of the gate, which activations are all complete. Let's see if I have a second cipher I need to play. I don't believe so. I think I'm pretty happy right now. So we're gonna go into deployment. I think it's time to drop, gosh, do I wanna put the unit into play or do I wanna get the weaver into play? It is a tough call because deploying the weaver would be really nice. But I think, I think we're going to go ahead and drop the unit in. So I'm going to spend both of the uh, arc I had on this void gate. Mm -hmm. I dropped an arc, Tony. Is there a counter for that? Don't you make one right now. Don't you do that to me. Let's ask the chat. <laughs> uh, summon him and then the other two within range of him, within coherency. I see that Big Josh is asking if there's a uh, street date release for the retail. Uh, and most of this came out in uh, the starter boxes as well as the contents of the starter boxes. And uh, I believe the B variants of the Warjacks came out last Friday. So you can go ahead and go pick those up. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, now that I've uh, summoned the unit, I'm going to de deploy a new gate. Obviously, you can't mm -hmm. deploy off something you've summoned in the same turn, so this is going off the Marauder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a gate right here on the, on the underneath. And I'm going to drop, let's put, what do you have that can activate this turn? Just your jack? Yeah, just Oh, your... the art guys are mad. Uh, I, off the top of my head, I do not know the release date for it. I know it's coming soon-ish. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put... Uh... So, yeah, and that was for uh, Groom Brenda 1. <laughs> uh, I'm putting just one arc on that gate over there. Since the only thing you've got yep. on your turn that can activate is the jack. Yep. Um... Yeah, let's see if I want to discard any Cypher cards. I think I won't. I think I'm going to hold on to them, so I'll just draw up to five. Okay. All, All right. you. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so ready. Charge phase. Uh, I'm going to give my jack one. 
Let's do. Facebook is saying every tenth die I drop, I have to spoil something. You're on Facebook. Every time for every tenth die drop I have, I will spoil something. All right. So ready, you, charge. You need nine more to cipher. happen. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? All right. You know what? You already saw it. Let's do the ascension catalyst. He gets plus two speed and flight. Sure. Did you uh, did you give an arc to anybody? Did you charge? I did. Him? I charged him. You charged the demon. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, hello, demon. Yeah, we're trying to figure out what he's going to do exactly. I would he's charged. He gains covered. He's got. Uh, okay. He's going to do some 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 fun stuff here. So he now has flight. I'm going to bring him up here. Well, howdy. Hello. So Tony, do you have an overhead cam, Tony? Oh, no, we don't because there's a giant plexiglass in the way. Yes. Oh, you can't see right here. The demon and the scourge are fighting. And it looks super cool. I wish I could share <laughs> it with you. It looks great on this table. All right. So. <laughs> David Young says, my spoiler will, will be something unrelated to War Machine, like TV spoilers for upcoming shows. I just promised a spoiler. I didn't say it was for War Machine. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to attack with the Galvatronic Lash. Who? Yeah, him. Sounds yeah, good. Just there to there. Uh, I don't believe I have cover from you. I don't think you do either. All right, so my rat is four, so four dice. I'm charged with one arc. Just my defense of three. Oh, snap. Uh, so I got five. I rolled a zero. Oh boy. All right, so it's gonna be three plus one, two, three, four, five. Power dice this is gonna suck. So that's uh, five, six, seven. What's your armor? Four. All right, so you take one da more damage. I have one health left. And you are pulled towards me until you hit a obstacle. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And you hit that obstacle, which means that you now take a... Uh, Is it a slam or just a push? I think it's a pull. Or a, a push. It just... Yeah, I shouldn't take any damage from just... Unless it says I... I Move directly towards the obstacle. And, oh, I guess you're right. No, yeah. it doesn't say push or pull or, or, or anything like yeah. that. It just... Oh, I man, just if, that, move, if yeah. that thing did damage as you yank people into stuff, whoo! Yeah, that'd be brutal. Uh, now I'm going to shoot you in the face with a Starfire Array. I will now have cover. You sure will. Um, it has strafe, but yeah, nothing there's nothing you. to strafe into. So. All right, Scourge. Do your job. Live. Whoa. Do your job. That's, uh, that's going to be tough. That's uh, seven. Seven? Why? Well, I rolled a four. So you get three dice up. So on. three dice up, yep. And that's a four damage weapon. So you gotta roll a four to kill him. Yeah, oh, I got he's, it. He's very dead. He did. Goodbye, Scourge. We'll see you in a bit. Bye, Scourge. And normally I would then swing at you with the plasma blade, but you're dead. It's true. So instead, he'll just kind of stand there like this, upset that he can't hack into you. Are you saying your demon just made Muppet arms? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I think we should make that cannon. That's how they move now. Uh. <laughs> Crap, I need to go on that side of the board now. Yep. Or I guess the same is true for you. You need to go on this side of the board. Yep. So, uh, 
that's done. And while I only got one activation, it was kind of worth it to get rid of that scourge. So he is now activated. Oh, and I dropped a token. Yeah, I think you're going to be able to get that point. It depends. And now summoning. Yep. Hey, look at that. Hello. The Fulcrum. And, and uh, I get to put a gate out. Yeah. Uh, from a war. This has been an mode. interesting turn of events. Yeah, that's the thing about Warcaster is that you know the turns are are so quick, and uh, they the damage output can be ridiculous. Yeah. So all but, of a sudden you're. But you can never really get tabled because you're constantly putting stuff out. Yeah, of exactly. I just uh, hmm, hmm. I may need to start moving that way. Let's do. Let's do a gate over here. The cutoff is right here, so yeah. we'll be right at the edge. I like putting my gates behind cover because I'm paranoid. It's a good way to live. It, kinda, you know. Uh, I don't like all this crap near this squad, so I'm gonna <laughs> put two. It is a, that, is, that is fair. Yeah, yeah. Especially those marauders. I've had bad experiences against those marauders. They, uh, They're mean. They can be. They won't stop rotting. Mar rotting? I don't know. All right, uh, that's done. All right. Uh, he still has the arc on him. I don't know why he didn't get moved with it. And, oh, I broke my gate. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, I will discard, uh, I'll fix that later. So, uh, I am going to discard, oh, first I'm going to play, I'm sorry, I've totally space playing another card. Okay, go for it. All right. Uh, temporal cycle, remove an activation token on these guys. Okay. Sounds good. And then you'll discard a card. And then I'll discard a card. I am going to discard, uh, actually I'm not going to discard. Never mind. I lied about discarding. I'm just going to draw back up to five. There is a uh, a debate right now in uh, in chat of whether or not attackers win ties. Uh, attackers win ties. I, I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. So what we'll do is just to make sure. The attacker rolls the same or fewer strikes than the defender, the attack misses. Oh, snap! So go ahead and put your guy back. Yoink. And that's why we keep the rule book on hand in case we make a, a boo boo. And hey, thanks Good to Twitch chat for pointing it out to us. Yeah. I just went with what you said, Andy. I was like, that sounds right. Uh, I mean, we've both read so many versions of these rules. I, that's the problem. Yeah. All right, so my turn starts. I have an arc on the Marauder, so he uses his special ability to remove it, remove his activation token, so he can go this turn. Mm -hmm. um, allocating an arc, I think I will end up putting one on the Vassal Reavers because I would like them to have red dice on the things that they do. Do I have a Cypher card I would like to play? That's the one that trips me up, obviously, as you can tell. Is planning out which Cypher card you want to play and win. I'll have to. That's a very important part of the strategy, too. You know? I will play Force Barrier on them. Nice. So that they've got, uh, cover. They've got cover. Basically, it's only going to last this turn, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and go to activations. We'll do the Marauder first. I'm going to choose to attack, then move. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to attack the squad that I know I'm in range of. Uh, I strafe shot one other guy. We will again go on the middle one first and then the end one next. You really hate that middle one and that end one. What is... Listen. What has Lefty and Center Boy done to you? It's a long, convoluted, and not stream appropriate story. So for the middle one, I rolled a three. All right, they got deaf. 
three cover. Uh, I got a three. So you're fine. So I'm fine, as we just found out. The robotic fella on the end, uh, I rolled a seven. Oh, crap. <laughs> He's, let's see how we do here. Oh, uh, six. Okay, so I've been in by one. All right. And what's their armor again? Uh, three. Three. I rolled a one, so he lives. Hey, look at that. All right, activation token for my good friend here. Not that that's really going to matter because the next no, round doesn't start. Not. They just. Uh, then he's going to move. Actually, stay in cover, my friend. Oh Maybe snap! I want to make sure that you're in range to come back and score this later, but I need him in. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You stay here. I believe you are going to help me get my next gate down. You fellows are going to go next. I believe it's about time you get ready to go start fighting. Those things. But step one, let's shoot them a bunch. So we're going to go yeah, with the, uh, the Vassal Reavers. They're going to move six. See, how far down are we here? Uh, it should be three inches. Well, you lose two inches of movement whenever you use ladders or, or stairs. But I'm trying to think. I have to make a decision now if they're going towards those guys, but you have another thing to arc there, or if I'm going to rush over this way and try and cause some havoc. With all of this fun stuff, I th think I'm going to go this way. We're going to put this guy here. He'll be the one that moves. We'll mm -hmm. pick up the other two. And we're basically just going to put him in cover, hiding behind this, this ladder and this little pillar right here. And we're going to hope for the best is what we're going to do. I'm going to make sure he's in, yeah. in coherency. Uh, take their arc with them. And now I guess we need to shoot at some things. Shooting is not their strong point. They are much better at punching things. But why not? Uh, since this thing does not have cover, we're all going to be shooting into him. So uh, we'll do the first shot. What's his defense? Defense of the fulcrum is three. OK, so shot one. I rolled a one. One. Shot two. I rolled a three. Give me a three. Uh, two. OK. Nailer's pal three, so I beat you by one. Uh, Arm four. Didn't break armor. Last shot. I rolled a four. I rolled a two. OK. How many damage boxes does that thing have two? It's got two. Armor four? Yeah. It is mathematically possible I roll an eight. I do one damage. All righty. Where's the little skulls? Uh, I'm going to put it on the model so that you all can see. They've activated. The Marauders He's activated. Got one damage on them. But the next pulse round's about to start, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, cipher cards? No, I'm going to hold out. Summoning, I'm going to use this gate over here, and I'm going to summon my immortal weaver underneath the bleachers. Nice. Pick that up. Pick this gate up. Not knock this bridge over and destroy the painted model. Then gate deployment. I think we're going to drop the gate down here by the stairs. Mm -hmm. And we are going to put, I think just two on it. I mean, I don't think your fulcrum can hurt a gate. And the only thing uh, you can, what's the POW on its guns? So the, the fulcrum has POW 4 on its gun, mm -hmm. but it also, oh no, it doesn't. Never mind. I was looking at a different weapon. Cheers. I thought it had. Null strike on it. The, that is the Oculus. The okay. Oculus has null strike. And the Oculus can't go this turn. And the Oculus cannot go this turn unless I have a cipher, which I'm not going to tell you if I do or not. <laughs> uh, fair. You know what? I'm putting two on it, and I'm going to hope for the <laughs> best. Uh, that's the end of my, and this was uh, turn three yeah. on the pulse round. Was it turn three? All right. Yep. Um, yeah, you're go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is ready. No one needs to get their stuff taken off. 
Uh, now I'm going to charge. Do I want to charge? That's the question. I probably do because everybody in this army wants to be charged sure. all the time. And Twitch Dash was talking about what, what I mentioned earlier about going down the stairs. You lose two inches of movement, but then you basically get placed within one of them. With ladders, that's very easy to resolve. With stairs, you definitely usually want to talk with your opponent and be like, because if you have a gigantic staircase, say like you yeah. built a, a temple, right? You don't want to be like, hey, this whole staircase, you just teleport across the board. You want to be like, is this stairs we walk down or is these stairs that we, we teleport up and down? I think we're playing these as you lose two inches of movement and then you get placed within one inch. If that's, I mean, we haven't done it yet, so if that's how you want to do it. Is that how you would like to do it? I, or do you want to, or do you want to you measure know, down? Visually, I kind of like the just stopping right in there. But, so, no, so but are you we good? Yeah, let's do yeah, that. No, okay. So we'll treat the ladders like normal. You lose two inches of movement, you teleport yeah. up or down within an inch, and then the, we will measure the distance. Uh, do you want to just measure horizontal, horizontally? Yeah, like, just horizontal, yeah. Not measure the diagonal? Yeah, let's not worry about that. Sounds good. That's, that's too much thinking. <laughs> that's too much thinking. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, I got my Saber Squad here. I got my uh, Fulcrum there. Uh, and they are the only ones I can activate this turn. So obviously, I'm going to do them. But before I start activating people, I need to look through here to see if I have anything super cool uh, I can do. Um, I actually do. You know what? We're doing a slight change of plans. Bum, bum, bum. I know. Impulse Inducer. Target a friendly Warjack. Remove the activation token from that Warjack. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, demon. No one expected you to be awake. So his impulses have been induced, and he is ready to roll. Speaking of. I needed to draw a card. Thanks for the reminder. You're welcome. And uh, what do you think, Daniel? Should I uh, should I just slaughter his squad or go for the score? That's it. That's it. Uh, I think I should score. Absolutely. I think I should score. So uh, what we'll do. But how can he get down there? Oh. He can just jump. <laughs> 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 uh, let's see. You could just jump. I could just jump. I actually think the Oculus is going to be the one to jump because I want him to just start just beating the crap out of your little dudes. So, I'm going to activate the, my dude. The demon. The demon. Uh. He can't fit under there, but he's under there. Yes. Believe me when I say. And what he's going to do first is shoot his Starfire Array into that guy. Okay. Actually, let's do... Oh, they all have cover, don't they? They do. Yeah. Hopefully I positioned them properly so they should all have cover from that angle. All right. So in that case, what we're going to do is... Decepticats, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be introducing any Riot Quest rules into Warcaster. <laughs> I'm not the lead on Warcaster. That's Jason Souls. So I'm pretty sure if I went to Jason and said, hey, Jason, I'm going to make a Meccano Shredder in Warcaster. I know how that would go. I'd play it. <laughs> <laughs> it would not go well. It would not, but They're very I'd different play genres. It. Oh, yeah. Serious sci-fi and Saturday morning cartoon apocalypse. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to attack with the uh, Starfire Array okay. into, let's say, that dude. Okay. But it also has uh, Strafe, All right. so we'll go ahead and do the Strafe roll. Uno. Ooh. So we got one guy, additional attack. I think I'm going to take a page from your book and end up going center and then lefty. Yeah. All right, let's see if uh, my guy who's really so excited to be holding a chainsaw dies. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you get? Uh, I got a four. You got a four? I got a four. It wasn't too Well, I rolled too a good. three. Oh, snap. That's just enough. Good luck breaking my armor of two. All right. Well, I got uh, pal four. So four white dice, one above, mm -hmm. one red. 
Ta-da, I got four. Yeah, no. So he's, he's, he's very dead. Jimmy has progressed directly to hell. And uh, for this one who's really excited to be holding his gun, actually he's kind of nonchalantly. He's just like, yes, that's I will shoot you. That's because he thinks the battle's already over. That's, that's, that's when we captured the pose. The fight's <laughs> over. He's like, what organs am I going to harvest? I got a four on this one, too. Well, I got a six this time. Oh, crap. Well, that don't do jack. You can't so, kill casual Calvin. You really can't. Good job, Calvin. All right, so... Uh, Keep not caring. You know what? The demon's going to shoot Calvin with the ga <laughs> Gravitronic <laughs> Lash. Okay. Let's just pull Calvin to me. Except that uh, he'll immediately get stuck on the ladder. Does it have uh, a damage on it? Yeah, it does. And I mean, you might, pull, you might end up pulling him through the ladder then, and I mean in chunks. Yeah, that's true. That's like very sausage true. or Play-Doh. What'd you get? Uh, I got a five. You got a five? That's, well, that's I've got pretty... some bad news. You hit Calvin. I hit Calvin. You Poor. beat him by one. Poor Calvin. All right. All right. We got three. Calvin suddenly cares a lot. As Poor he Calvin. is yanked screaming through the grates of a ladder. Well, you know what? Maybe he didn't even scream. Maybe he was just like, typical. Now, I'm a, I, I am under there, technically. So let's see if I'm within two inches. Just meat cubed. Of this dude. I say yes. I say yes, too. Just because I want to use that sword, finally. All right, so my mat is four. Yep. And one because of the... Just defense three, because I, I, I would not be getting cover yeah. from the melee attack. Uh, whew, six. Six. I can technically match you Good on luck. three dice. Well, you beat oh. me by four. Oh, this is not going to be pretty. It's pal five. Screaming Shirley here does care that a warjack is punching her with an enormous glowing blade. Uh, you are also on fire, I believe. Sure. I am, <laughs> I'm not even going to count. They're dead. Okay. Why should they I? are, uh, you know the beginning of, the, of Cube? Yeah. Where the guy walks into the little thing and he just becomes cubed? That's kind of what happened. I imagine just, they just teleported back on the ship and they're like, never again. And the Warcaster's like, see ya, hits a red button and just... Boom, boom. Is that how, is, are they teleported back to the ship? I always thought they just died. No, they and died. you have a stupid amount of dudes. Yeah, you have, you, it is, you have a legion of dudes in the ship. Yeah. The idea actually is that these are just multiple squads and they're watching their friends just. die. And I imagine they're just sitting there in the chamber waiting and they're like, oh, oh God, look what just happened. <laughs> They oh pulled, crap! They We're put up Calvin next. through a ladder, what we, and then a, a, a siren goes off, and all of a sudden, just blink. All of a sudden, they're on some desert planet, holding a chainsaw and a pistol. <laughs> and like, there's just a, a eight foot tall robot. And there's with... an eight foot tall robotic <laughs> alien with a fusion blade, who's like, <laughs> initiate greeting protocol. And they're like, no. Nope. Yeah, it's bad. Is that the people's elbow? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna have uh, he's he's done. Yep, he's done. He's he's doing pretty good this game. I'm 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 happy with my demon. Uh, I'm gonna activate this Oculus here. Mm -hmm. He's gonna move, and then jump down. All right, how far does he fall? Three he inches? falls, I think, three inches. Uh, yeah, it's for every full inch, so three inches. Three. So he's gonna take a pal three. Oh snap! I forgot that. Uh, he'll be okay. He's got, he's got death four. Go ahead and move him. Now, if he takes any damage from this, his activation ends. It doesn't matter, because he'll be able to score. Well, he, he would fall. Uh, you could jump off, actually, yeah. Yeah. Drop it there. Let's see if we kill him uh, on three dice. No, he takes no damage. Yeah, he's good. And I get a point. OK. So the, the score is tied two to two, Tony. Woo. Two to two. And do I got anything I want to play at the end of my activation? Uh, not particularly. All um, right. Do you want to discard any cipher cards and draw back up? Um, how many do I got left? Are we allowed to count how many we have left? Yeah. I don't think. Yeah, it's never popped up, right? Four, five, six. Uh, yeah, let's discard one. I'm going to discard... Uh, 
divination algorithm. And then draw back up to five. But I gotta do my gate stuff first. And yes. summoning. So I cannot summon anyone. I have one arc left. This is poopy. You could recall something instead of summoning I if you want. I could recall something. Um, you know what? I'm gonna recall my Oculus. Okay. Boop. He's coming back. He did a good job. Everyone's proud of him. <laughs> good job, buddy. He says thank you, which I'm assuming is some kind of wiggle thing because I don't know if they have mouths. That's a good question. We should ask Jason. Do Empyreans have mouths? All right. Um, that's my turn. All right, sounds good. New pulse phase. Yeah, so we remove all the red, the, all the activation tokens off of yep. everybody. So. Uh, we Any are now. Any conditions expire? Yep. And we should just say damage is a condition so I can heal everybody? No, that, that'd be too hmm. dumb. Hmm, hmm. Hmm. What's your speed there missing? Six? Uh, these guys, yeah, their speed is six. Oh, no, I was talking about my, my Weaver. Oh, yeah, your, your speed problem. Because I might... I might... Go up there and spray a bunch of them and just hope for the best. I mean, that's probably smart. Sure. So we'll give her... So, uh, Ready, nothing to do because we removed all activation tokens. Yep. Uh, charging, I'll put one there. Cypher cards. Hey, look, I've got a Weaver in play. I can, oh, no. I can start using this handful of Furies I have. Sweet. Yeah, let's just see if we can't kill some stuff. I'm going to... Yeah, I like the interpretive dance. Malediction rubric. <laughs> uh, okay. Through mean... here. Oh, snap. Into one of them. Okay. So she is... Is that the blast one? No, no. It's the one that removes any uh, cypher cards. Oh, snap. Okay. I've got three arc in the well, so I'm going three red dice. Mm -hmm. All right, dice. You now, have... uh, there is something important to note. It's not going to happen here, but if you do target my dudes with a fury, I get to charge them with an arc. Yep. But so... they're already charged, right? Uh, they're already charged, yeah. so it's not going to happen because they're at their max of one because they're a squad. All right. Uh, let's roll well. We did not. I rolled a four. Uh, two, so he still beat me. What? Well. Armor three, you say? Uh, I do. The fellow on the end explodes. Oh, man. That poor lefty. Into wee meaty chunks. Next, uh, let's go ahead and activate. Now we're in the activation phase. We'll do the Marauder first. To no one's surprise, the Marauder's gonna shoot. Oh, snap. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at that squad. Okay. I shoot no one extra. Boo. I will shoot the one in the middle. Hiya! Oh, drop the die, Oh, I dropped the die. Uh, well, I got a three. All right, I've got a two so far, oh, which so means I have to roll a double, it. which is what it rolled on the ground, by the way. No. No? All right. Womp, uh, And then he's going to move to here. Mm -hmm. I don't even need to move that far back. He's going to move to here. Tony, I score two control points as I end an activation and score that one for the first time. The Weaver is going to be brave, girl. <laughs> just just you be can brave. Do it. So I think if I come stand here, mm -hmm. I can spray both of them. Uh, yeah, that, that looks like you'd, you'd be able to do that. And I'm not in range to actually score the objective, unfortunately. You know, if you, if you target that one, you'll give them both. Yeah. Yeah. So she's going to walk up to there. She's going to shoot. You don't get cover from sprays. 
That is correct. So let's do the middle one first. Taking a psychokinetic hood attack against you. I rolled a two. Uh, I got zero. Oh, yes. Yes, Weaver. Yes, Weaver. Armor three. Do your job, Weaver. Ah, yes, uh, snap. Then the second part of that attack going into the other one. Hiya! Uh, oh my god. I rolled a six. I got zero. Okay. Well, I need to roll two more red dice after this if the dude survives. You want two dice? No, no, we shouldn't. Okay. We shouldn't share dice. Oh, you're right. He, he. Yeah, he very did. My squad gone. Weaver, you have done such good work. Well, shoot. Shoot indeed. All right, now second. Um, Next Cypher. I'll do no Collider out of the Weaver into yep. that Void Gate. Yep. So. There is two Arc on it. Yep. If I hit it, it loses one, period. Yep. Which is what I want so that the unit can't. I should stuck. have cover from that, correct? You, oh, yeah. You absolutely yeah. have cover from that. Just saying because Oculus, when charged, ignore cover on their fury attacks. All right, Weaver, just don't let me down. I rolled a three. I, uh, I rolled a five. Well, Weaver, you did do some good things. Just not all of them. Um, summoning time, as they like to call it. I will spend two over here. The question is, is it Jack or is it Unit? And I believe the answer is, you're scary and I don't like you. He is very scary. This is a very good loadout. I, I dig it quite a bit. Uh, we'll go with the Unit. So we're gonna show up here and then we're basically just gonna give ourselves as much cover as we conceivably can. Yep. This gate disappears and I will drop a new gate Dun, dun, dun. I mean, you can't be summoned within one inch of an objective, but that's okay. We could be... Ah, Artemis. I think you're right. I think I just was overly excited reading that. Uh, ignore line of sight. So, yeah, that is correct. They would still get cover, but I can shoot behind stuff. I am summoning a gate over here on your side of the board, uh, putting two on it. How dare you? I am a fiend and a monster. Um, go ahead and discard this card and I will draw up to three. You're good. All right. Oh, uh, activation token on my wee little immortal weaver over here. All right, let me double check my hand. What are our dice drops up to? Two? We're doing fine. Oh. There, there was a discussion earlier in the chat that two token drops would equal one dice drop. And if that is uh, held, then the, the total is actually three. Two, no. two tokens equals... The, the, the counter says dice drop. It doesn't say token drop. There was also discussion about calling it the oops counter. I like that, actually. Tony, you have to... Well, don't let me stop. I, I, uh, Tony, you have to, I need you to manage chat right now because if you let them run, run things, they're gonna know everything for the next three years. They're coming up with some good ideas. Yeah, Tony, but they're trying to exploit us for spoilers because every, every tin <laughs> that that counter gets to is a spoiler that I have to give. And if you don't manage this. See, seems like a you problem, not a me problem. That's cold. It Tony. is. That's cold. I'm trying to get you to help me to fix it. You were one of the good ones, Tony. What happened? That wasn't rhetorical. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Um, charge. Uh, I think I'm a good charge. You know what? Yeah, let's give let's give one more 
to the demon. Just but make them why? Because now I get two power dice on whenever I do cool attacks, like hitting you with, I'm assuming, a electronic tentacle. <laughs> or a tentacle beam. I don't know. We'll see. Um, now I'm going to do activation. Obviously, I have to do these guys. So... Yes. Uh, I'm going to activate the demon first. Okay. Um, I don't like that marauder. He keeps shooting at my dudes. So, yes. Let's see if i got a card I can play beforehand that'll help me out here. It's his hobby. Uh, He's like, I shoot at Empyreans. Not really. All right. So, we're going to move... He's under, like, the middle, right, we said? Yes. So, four, and then... You wanted to end up on the catwalk yeah, right there? Yeah, I want to end up on the catwalk. Oh, wait, I can't on touch On the catwalk, models. yeah. I can't touch your models or your tokens. So he's going to hang out here. I don't think you're in range of the dreaded lash. No. Because that way you do no. measure down and up. Yeah, not at all. So, in that case... And he's got... The two arc on him. He does have the two arc on him. Thank All right, you. Marauder. Well, time to time to dance your way around that cover, friend, and survive this. All right. So first things first. Mm -hmm. Starfire array. That's apparently the only thing. <laughs> first thing. <laughs> the only thing. All right. So rat four. I got two of these cool guys on me. I am deaf too, but I have the cover from the tank trap. All right, show me. I got one, two, three, four, five. I got three. All right, so it is going to be four de pow and two, so the exact same roll again. I'm armor four? Armor four. I always forget that. Armor four, three health. Yeah, that's pretty. You're, you're just a tiny warjack. Uh, one damage. You rolled a four. You monster. I know. All right, it takes a point. Uh... That's all he can do. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yay! <laughs> and the Oculus is going to activate. Uh, or not the Oculus, the Fulcrum. The Fulcrum is going to activate. Okay. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? <laughs> all right. He is going to shoot your squad in the face right. with a uh, void cannon. Uh, range 12, pow 4. If I hit, I can do some nasty stuff like move you around. Um, well, I've got cover from the stairs. Yeah, you sure do. And one pow die on him. I want you to roll low on this because I want to survive. Well, let's see. That's not low. I got a six. What is going on? Uh, I got a six. What? Well, if we played by my made up rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, crap, but I score anyways. You do. He's so just you get two there. points, that puts you up to four, so the score is tied. Woo. Four to four. Uh, and and he, he gets an activation token, and I can play a second card if I want to. I can also summon guys, which I desperately need to do. Uh, so I'm going to summon my squad here. Hello, friends. They are there. Uh, yeah, whatever, y'all got cover, you're good. This card down. You had a nice little Actually, har harmony there. And... My turn? No, I gotta summon a gate. You do need to summon a gate. Yeah. Good call. You know what? Let's put this gate... Right. Where did my other... I've got my one gate there. Where did my other gate go? I don't know. I got two gates over here. Got one there. Oh, okay. It was camouflaged. It's there. I'm going to put 
two on there because I know you're going to try to attack it soon. What with the uh, with something being in the open. Um, that is my turn. All right, please move the tracker. Turn two, pulse round two. We are at the halfway point of the game. Uh, ready phase. I will take the one activation token off of the Marauder because. He is charged, and that is his ability. Obviously, it stays on the Weaver. I'm going to charge the unit of Reavers up by one. Let me see if I have any Cypher cards I would like to play. Hmm. Yes, I'm going to Aggression Theorem on the Weaver. Mm -hmm. She can immediately make one melee or ranged attack. Mm -hmm. uh, she's going to spray. Oh, crap. We'll target this guy so I hit these two. Yep. And sprays ignore cover. And sprays ignore cover. She still has a arc on her. You got to beat a zero. I got a five. That is pal four plus five reds. I'll roll this and then see if it matters. That it guy's dead. That was the middle one. And then on the one on the end, let's see if we can take him out. I rolled a three. I need new dice. I got I, another zero. I feel you. That was my dice roll the entire first pulse round. That guy explodes. Yeah. I, rolled, I got a three. He is armor three, right? Uh, yeah, he's armor three. Yeah, got it. Good job. No surprise. I'm just going to write a four here. And... <laughs> do you have that capability? <laughs> uh, we're going to go to activation phase. We're going to do the Reavers, and we're going to try and score us a point by murdering this. So I'm, you've got one damage on your I got. I do have one damage, and one arc, and one dealy bob. So they're going to walk up, and they're going to try to punch you because... Don't forget their uh, arc. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. They're going to try and punch you because they are much better at punching than they are anything that else. That is very true. What's your defense? Uh, my defense is three. Make sure I'm not missing anything on them. Uh, hold on. Is there anything cool I can do right now? No. All right. First guy. I got a three. I got a four. Second uh, guy. Stop. Oh. Because when this model is targeted by an attack, while charged, after the attack is resolved, which it just was, model can move up to three inches. Move up to three inches. So I'm going to get out of the way. Warning, if you move three inches, I will take the objective. I mean, I already scored it at this point. But you'll let me score it. Oh, snap, you're right. Ah, should I let him die? Yeah, we'll see. He'll hang out. Because if you move away, I can still shoot. Yeah, that's, that's two, they'll just shoot. Yep. Yeah. All right, second one, I rolled a five. Uh, I rolled a five as well. Third one, I rolled a one. I rolled a one as well. Well, I'm not taking that point from you now. That's true. That's true. They get an activation token, which is right, Cha. Surprising turn of events. Uh, you've already gone. You have an activation token. You are the only thing that can activate, unless yes. you have a cipher card that lets you do something different. Do I? I actually don't remember. My Marauder is going to move to here, just to get in range of him. Yeah, crap. And actually, uh -huh. move back to where I was. Is there any conceivable way that this Marauder is in range? I'm speed five, range 12. I have a 17 inch threat range on the gun. There's no way with terrain that I'm going to get. Is, what is the distance, just so I know? Distance is about 18 inches. About 18, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the thing actually is, if I kill this guy. Yeah, if you kill him, I can't do jack. Uh, I mean, well, I, these come off, and then I'd, I'd be able to use them. Yeah, you get to activate them again. It's actually a hard choice, but I kind of want to kill him. You stopped me from getting a point, I or two points. Yeah, we're going for it. He's going to move up. Yep. Yeah! Uh, strafe doesn't matter. It always matters. Because unless I'm crazy, you cannot strafe the same no, person. No, you can't. No, you can't. Yeah, I didn't think so. But right, you can shoot your... No, I'm just <laughs> Shoot your immortal. Here we go. 
All right, from behind or uh, behind yeah, cover, whatever. What'd you get? I got a four. You need a five? Well, I rolled a two. All right, he's fine. Then I get an activation token. Mm -hmm. Second cipher time, I'm going to play temporal cycle and I'm going to remove the activation token nice. from the unit nice. for a second try at this. Uh, I am going to use my two arc over here yeah. to, and he's not within an inch of that, summon Yol Scourge. So it, it's within two inches of the uh, thing. So you can you can scoot them up in there. To you you can't be deployed within an inch of an objective. Oh, you're right. Never mind. Yeah. And in Never fact, mind. there's no reason for me not to just show up in cover in case somebody tries to shoot me. So I'll I'll deploy there. Okay. Then I'm going to place myself a brand new gate for no discernible reason, but I will do it anyway. Yeah. You never know. Ooh. I'm going to drop it. Oh, I have nothing on. I'm going to drop a gate right here. Yep. And I'm just going to put one on it. And this is just called insurance. <laughs> uh, I am done. I will discard. No cards, question mark. Draw two. I know, right? At, at this, as we get so I, through. I draw one, you know, reshuffle, and then I'll yeah. draw another one. But please, carry on. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, charge face. <sighs> Whatever. You're dying, so I'm just going to get it back. Uh, so I'm going to charge that squad. Uh, ready phase. No one needs to be ready. Tony, I see Getz is in chat. What's Getz talking about? We're talking Mortality. about uh, Henschel Scrolls. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Mortality Destabilizer. Hey, I get to bring a guy back. Hello. Donk. And now it is my activation phase. So uh, they're just going to go score themselves a point. Score themselves a point. And they are charged now. Uh, let me actually do something a little cheeky here. So he was the one to move. So he's going to walk up like that. So they are charged, which means that they can uh, use the Havoc engine to shoot. Then if that hits, hit with the Fusion Blade. And if that hits, hit with the Tentacle Strike. Because I want to kill that stupid, stupid Weaver. Okay. Um, so you have to hit with the, the shot first? It doesn't matter. I can do it in any order. But so, each attack has to But hit. each attack has to go through once. It yeah. has to succeed and go through. Um, so actually, it would be smart of me to do Fusion, then Tentacle, and then Ion. Because I could just turn around and shoot your dude. Okay. Uh, so first... We'll do the fusion blade on this. I got a mat of uh, three with one charge. I just have a def three. All right. Uh, oh, you don't get cover from that. Never mind. <coughs> three. Zero. <coughs> All right. This is uh, probably going to kill you. I'm armor three. Oh, never mind. It's not going to kill you. I have two health. All right. So, pal four, three damage. Mm -hmm. All right, so five. So that's one point. One, one point. Ow. And let's do the uh, tentacle arm. Okay. So, Matt, three. Mighty defensive three. Hiya! I rolled a zero. I also rolled a zero. Well, then, good, good news. Well, he's done. Uh, I guess this guy will just take a shot at you. Okay. All right, so three, one. Cover? Uh, yeah, I, I think he got covered. Oh, well, let's charge. Add two power dice. Hey, look at that high intensity on the ion cannon. Uh, all right. Is that to the attack roll or the damage roll? It says for the attack roll. Nice. All right. All right. What'd you get? I got three. I rolled four. 
I rolled five. Oh, five. Yeah. Uh, it, even if I didn't have cover, I rolled the three on just the white dice. So nice. Nice. She lives. Ta da. Okay. So, good job, guys. Um, and then, uh, you know what? At the end of their activation, they can actually spike to uh, uh, remove their activation token. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Just in case they survive. Um, I'm done there, and now I'm going to summon this cool cat. An Oculus, he costs one. Boop. Uh, let's put him in cover somewhere. Like here. There. Uh, that gate still has one left. Okay. And I'm going to discard. Arcane Synthesis, draw back up to five. All right, start of turn three, pulse round two. Uh, during the ready phase, I'll take the activation token off the Marauder because he has a charge on him. I will put one on Yeol Scourge. Mm -hmm. Don't have any of these I want to play at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and go with Racked and Confused. I would love a care package. Oh, wait. No, they're asking someone else if they want a care package. Well, <laughs> never mind. Uh, I'm activating my Scourge. I'm going to walk up. And I'm going to try and Wrecking Claw that fella. Oh, snap. Okay. Uh, so, I rolled a two. <laughs> Ooh. All right. uh, no cover. I got a two. I'm going to try to Null Rod that fella. Null Rod or Force Rod? Sorry, for, Force Rod. Oh, okay, yeah. I rolled a four. Uh, I got a zero. So it's three. What did I say? I got a four? Yeah, I think he said four. And then I have plus one pal because I'm a scourge. Yep. That guy dies. Yeah, he did. Uh, this was this cool cat or this cool cat? The, the one not next to the weaver. All uh, right. Then, because I'm a jack, I get to fire everything. Yes, you do. We're going to try and... I'm only rat three. I don't really need to... Fire. Let's see if I can hit you with the nailer first. So, nailer shot into you. All righty. I got a four. Oh, crap. I got a two. Okay. Armor three. Beat you by two. Nope. Oh, Failed snap. to kill. Shoot the rocket pod into you. Yep. Which is going to blast my weaver, but I'm okay with this. I mean, yeah, he'll, he'll be fine. So, let's Unless see if I hit something you. tragic happens. Let's see I hit you with the rocket pod. All right. I rolled a one. Uh, two. All right, so I hit you with just the blast damage on the rocket pod. Yep. Four whites. I'll kill you with the, the, you sure the blast do. damage. Uh, I end my turn on that objective. Tony, I score two. I go up to six. I'm just now realizing I should not have summoned that Oculus. Oh, well. <laughs> Where? You well, I know where you're gonna go, but what can you shoot at first? If anything, well, Marauder has to get back on this point for reasons, and I guess since the demon can't activate, let's go ahead and start seeing if we can put some shots into it. Uh, Marauder, I don't have range on anything else, so Marauder's gonna move back here. I would have loved to activate my my reavers, but I can't. Uh, and I'm going to shoot the demon. Congratulations, you have cover, because you're on a higher point than I am. Woo! So... I let, got the high ground. Let's see what I hit with the shredder. I rolled a three. Alrighty, I got def three. Two for the cover. Uh, is that a ballistic? 
The, yes, it is. All right, hold on, because the Starfire Ray gives me plus three def against Ballistic. Oh, God. Yeah, one, two, all right, nah, so uh, I need one more white die after this. What did you roll? A three, I think. Uh, I, I'm good, I got a three. Okay. But just in case, it was a four. That's a five now. Okay. okay. Uh, so activations are done. Do I have any? I mean, it's, we're about to be at the next pulse round, so I don't need to super worry about that. Nope, I'm going to hold on to all my cards. Um, deploying, I have no one to deploy. S or uh, I don't want to put another gate down. I don't have anyone to summon. Yeah, I think I'm just done. So it's your go. All right. Mr. Oculus, it is time to shine. <laughs> you can do it. I believe in you. Uh, all right. So first things first, he's going to, uh, well, charge. So let's see. Uh, I wonder who I'm going to charge. The Oculus. The yeah. one guy who can activate it. Uh, next, we got first cipher card. Um, yeah, let's do this. This is going to be dumb, but I love it. First, I want to check my range here. He is charged, so he ignores line of sight. Okay. You are within 14. 14. And 14. Cool. All right. Null Collider on that cool cat. Okay. And by cool cat, I mean bitter enemy that I hope dies. Uh, make an attack roll against the target. And if I do any damage, you're one arc cleared away. Okay. Uh, so my focus is four. I don't have cover from where I'm standing. Plus I have two Actually, uh, arc in my pool. Yeah, I don't think I would have cover. All right. I should have three arc in my pool, I think. Right? You got one here. I got you one there. Two here. Two there. Oh, two there. Never yeah. mind. We're good. We're good. What did you roll? A uh, big number of five, six, uh, six. Six. Well, I rolled a two. You beat me by four. Oh, crap. I'm going to go ahead and get that arc knocked free. Three and four. Armor four. All right. That's a lot. Uh, that's eight. Nine, ten. He takes two damage. Armor four, yeah. Yeah, it takes two. Boop, boop. And for your next trick. Good job, dude. These weavers are killing it this game. They really are. Um, <sighs> Alright, we're going to move them. So that was his, his uh, out of activation cipher. Yeah, sure. That was, yeah. that was the, the pre activation phase. Pre activation cipher. phase cipher. Gotcha. Uh, I'm just gonna, oh, let me just smash everything on my way over here. It's not my table, my models, my terrain, or my recording equipment, but Tony might be mad. Yeah, we really don't want to smash Tony's stuff. I get a little heart flutter every time it happens. Just yeah. kind of this little, little tiny shot of adrenaline. My range there. Do you know how you can fix that? Maybe if you had my back and stopped letting them just count anything as dice drops, bad things wouldn't happen. Uh, I think you should just cure COVID. It's called karma, Tony. Maybe you've heard of it. All right, so. Maybe you should. Yeah, uh, Consecrator is going to shoot into. Uh, let's do your weaver. Okay. Let me double check the 10 inches first, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, rat three. I am charged with one. Def three, no cover. Whew. Uh, I got a three. I got a five. Oh, snap. Uh, okay. Okay. 
then that means that it's time for the second cipher card. More cipher cards. More cipher cards. Um, da, 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 da. Let's do. Yeah, let's do a pyrokinetic search. Okay. And that one's going to be on that bad boy who has one damage on him, right? Yeah, he's got two left. He's got two left. All right. Yeah, let's do, uh, let's do Pyrokinetic Surge right. on him. Um, he definitely has some cover. Four. And I have two. two. Show Mark me what you left. Ah, uh, three. I rolled a four. All right. So Woo. nothing. Woo. All right. Well, he's activated. Uh, summoning phase. I forgot to charge, so nothing. And that is my turn. And I draw back up to yes, five. Five. And it is the beginning of pulse round three. Let us remove all of our activation tokens. Cool. All right. Uh, this back to one. My turn starts, you say. Well, let's do the easy things first. Uh, I'll put one on the jack. Yep. I will activate the uh, cipher. Well, so I'll put one on the jack. Do I have any cipher cards I would like to play? No, I'm good. Uh, I will activate the Marauder. Mm -hmm. He is going to fire at the um, Oculus. All right. Uh, I don't believe I have cover. No, you shouldn't from there. All right, Marauder, get the get the job done. I rolled three. I rolled a five. Well, uh, Marauder doesn't move anywhere. I score this one. Tony, I go up. I'm going to go up six points this turn, so you can put me at 12. He'll end his activation. Right, Shaw. We will do the Scourge next, which will move here. Mm -hmm. And it will end up ending its activation in range of that objective. So I'll end up scoring three off this one and three off, three off that one. Okay. But the Scourge does have some things it needs to shoot first. We're gonna shoot our rocket pod into the Oculus. Mm -hmm. Def three. I rolled a four. I got a one. All right, so beat you by three. What is its armor? Uh, his armor is three. <laughs> two boxes? Two boxes. Uh, one, two, three, it takes up one of damage. Uh, and then I shoot him with the nailer. So next shot with next gun. I rolled a seven. Yeah, that, that seems excessive. Game. I got a one. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to roll this and then see if I need to roll oh, three more red man. dice. Uh, he is dead. He's dead. Calm down, Scourge. These scourges and these marauders are killing me. So he gets an activation token. He yeah. ends his activation there, so I score both of those. Then for my second Cypher, I will remove the activation token off the Scourge, playing Impulse Inducer. So the only activation token I will have will be on the Marauder, which I will be capable of removing. I will place another gate here with one on it, mm -hmm. and I will summon nothing. I will discard one card, and I will draw two and I am done. All right. Charge phase. Doop. I'm going to put that on there. Uh, I'm going to do the two activations that I can activate. Fulcrum and demon. Fulcrum and demon indeed. Um, Hmm. 
Man, none of your guys have stealth, do they? Uh, they do, it just doesn't matter. Yeah. Crap. These guys have stealth. I felt so proud of myself. I was like, man, I'm going to take Revelation Matrix. That's going to stop them. And then, <laughs> that'll, that'll stop. I that'll shoot, shoot everybody. We haven't really been far enough away for it to matter. Yeah, we've been so close, so. Stealth is definitely one of those rules that matters more in a full-size game than it does in a skirmish game because the boards are bigger. I actually did a um, podcast interview, or I guess YouTube online interview with uh, Glass Half Dead, mm -hmm. whose uh, YouTube channel covers a lot of uh, skirmish war gaming. We've talked about Warcaster before, and we got into a pretty good discussion about the differences of stealth in skirmish and full-size mode. Check it out, by the way, if you haven't watched it. It's a good watch. It's like two hours of us just talking about stuff. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Demon. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Mr. Demon! Show me a dream. Do 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 do. That you've ever seen. Um, six. Okay. So I'm gonna move. I'm gonna jump on down, I guess. Okay. So. Uh, I'm gonna roll the three pal you take. What's your armor? My armor is a uh, four. So if I roll a four, you take a damage and your activation ends. Yep. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Demon. Jump there. Jumping down. Oh, it was a three. Oh, yeah. Uh, I want him to be able to get in there, damn it. He, he just can't. Well, he can't get he it within can, an inch I of know. it because I placed myself on forward on it. Yep. Yeah. So I must. I must break you. <laughs> I must break you. Uh, all right. So first we're going to just get the fun stuff out of the way. And by fun stuff, I mean I'm going to hit you with my fire sword because finally. Good luck. I'm deaf too. All right. And I got two of those on me. I'm just going to roll this now. I rolled a two. Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, I rolled a four. So all right. two extra of those. Five. Armor four. Uh, I got it for one. Okay, he takes one more. He has one left. Crap, I thought he had two already. No, he only had the one. Well, whatever, I got two more weapons to shoot you with. <laughs> I was about to say, you'll be fine, <laughs> I assure you. All right, so now we got a uh, rat four uh, on the gravitronic leash. Okay. Lash. Uh, that is definitely above a two. You got a nine? I got a nine. Well, yeah. good, good job because I rolled a two. Yeah, you beat me by okay. seven? Yep. All right, let's see if you can roll a four on seven dice. I'm just going to pick you up and put you back because you no longer exist. I don't know the way I've been rolling. I will be shocked if you can't roll a four on this. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Ted. Cool. Now I don't have anything to make me move. <laughs> uh, da, 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 yeah, he's done. Um, okay. He has an activation token. Bloop. It is. And it, it, I guess I guess for his last action, he'll shoot his uh, star array, starfire array, into your gate. Sure. I will definitely I have might as that. well. Uh, all right. So we got a rat of four, and I have two arc on me. All right, little gate. Hold on for dear life. Uh, let's see. We got a five. Five. I rolled a five. Snap. Look at that. All right. Meanwhile. Now it's time for the fulcrum. My void gate's just juking and jiving. <laughs> it's the spinning. It's the spinning of the armory sphere inside. Just no. Just confuses them. Juking. Just juking. Juking. Juking and jiving. Little, little, little like shoulder shimmies. <laughs> They're gonna float like a butterfly and sting like an arc gate. Yes. Yeah. So this thing. Uh, what does this thing do? This. What does this thing do? He's he's like a, a cool little support solo that like kind of slips around and he's got range twelve pow four with a dislocator uh, for a spike, so I can uh, move your dudes around. But you're a squad, so I can only move one. Yeah. And then it's like, well, what am I doing? Um. So he's gonna shoot with his thing. Yeah. Uh, rat four. I'm defense three. Cool. I have one arc on me. 
That's uh, that's a big number. Seven. Seven. Why well, roll a one? Oh crap! So All you right. got six red dice, and what's the power on it? Uh, power four. All right. So you're rolling ten dice, and I'm armor two. Yep. Good luck. All right. Here we go. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Got him. All right. Uh, target friendly unit within five inches. No. Okay. Cool. Uh, that is all he can do. He can move, but I don't want you to get that point. Seems good. So he's going to chill. Now it is the summoning. Mm. Yeah. So these guys are coming back in. Hello. And Wolf Fulcrum's got himself uh, an activation token. Yes, he does. Okay. And activation token, poor Boo. Yes. And would you like to put another gate down? I sure would. Let's see. So it's going to have to be off of him or him. Uh, it's got to be off of Warriors. Oh, actually, you can't put a gate down this turn. Uh, you could. You could. You could. Him. Yeah, him. He's a Unless the, does the demon have a special rule that says you can put gates down? No, he does not. Okay. I was thinking of an earlier version where Warjacks could do that. All right. Smart move would be over there. So up here, and we'll put one on it because it's in an awkward spot that I don't think you're really going to be shooting at. This seems good. And I'm going to move these two arc that are supposed to be on this guy down here. OK. That's my turn. All right. My uh, hold on, because I want to discard. Sure. I'm going to discard interdiction protocol. No, I'm not. I'm going to discard revelation matrix. All right. So my turn starts. We're on turn two. Uh, ready phase. Nothing has an activation token, because I the, he died, and I took it off the jack with a cipher. Yep. So we're good. Charging phase. Everything has an arc, and the jack has at least one, so I'm actually good. So Cypher, I'm going to play Aggression Theorem as my first Cypher, and I'm going to tell this Marauder to attack that Fulcrum. So let's get the job done. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna swing at him. I rolled a two. All right, and this was against my uh, Fulcrum? Yeah. Sweet. Death three, I got a two. Okay, activations. They're trying to activate. If these Reavers, after a total of six attacks, can't do one damage to a Fulcrum, I don't even know what to say anymore. He swings at the Fulcrum. I rolled a one. I also rolled a one. The next one swings at the Fulcrum. I rolled a three. I got a two. Oh my god. Armor four. Pal five, oh, beat you by oh, one. Oh. Just do your job, Reaver. I, I should have slipped away. I should have slipped away. You're oh, you got a three? Yeah. Oh, he's good. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's just the worst luck. Because that ends the game. Yeah. It's the worst, and I hate it. Uh, this Weaver, as my extra solo activation, is going to come stand within one of the objective and in cover. Oops. Actually, did you bring in your spray girl? You were here? Yeah, you were on the other side? Yep. <sighs> no, she is not in range no matter how I measure that. Sadly, she'll go here, just be in range of that, get herself an activation token. Summoning, I'm going to spend one off of this gate. Oh, I don't have a second um, cipher to play. 
Okay. Actually, what all can you activate this turn? The Strike Squad? Uh, Strike Squad, yep. Um, I'll go ahead and play it because I redrew it after reshuffling. Uh, I'll take the activation token off this unit. Nice. Uh, summoning, I'll spend one. I'll summon the Marauder. Oh, the Marauder. Into cover. Then I'm going to put down a gate. I'm going to put down a gate here. And I'm going to put two on it. Uh, using one of them as my target. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to discard. Kinetic Accelerator. Draw up to three. Your go. Okay. All right, so charge phase. We were almost there, Tony. All I had to do was have O Reaver do one damage to a fulcrum, and we wrapped it up. <laughs> but you know what they didn't do? They, they failed. They didn't do me. that damage to that fulcrum. I'm sorry, what, what you didn't do? This has nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. the, they failed me. Yeah. You can't see my face right now because of the mask, but I am indignant. Uh, I'm going to play, uh, from my first Cypher, I'm going to play Force Barrier on these guys so they have cover. Okay. Yep. Uh, and then I am going to move to right there. Oh, hello. Hello. And then just coming through. What with the cool squad movement mechanic. I actually really like that. It's, I think it's very clever. It does um, make things incredibly simple. Yeah. Uh, and um, they are charged and are going to be doing their crazy, I'm going to attack everything attacks. So first, uh, he's going to shoot him okay. because I don't like him. Actually, no, that's dumb. That's really dumb because I want to score. So he's going to shoot him. Okay. And one, range 10. Uh, I get two power dice because high intensity on the ion cannon. Okay. Just def three. I uh, definitely hit. I rolled a six. Oh, crap. I rolled a six. <laughs> He lives. <laughs> it's gonna be the exact same situation with the uh, the fulcrum. Uh huh. The, yeah. Uh, all right. Next guy's gonna take a shot. Okay. Same deal. All right. I got a five. I rolled a three. Okay. That's two extra damage. Pal three, two. That's he did. Okay. You don't have armor four, do you? No. No. They're yeah. armor two. Yeah. All right, uh, last one is gonna take a shot into there. Okay. Well, actually, first off, what's the distance there? Is that one inch? Oof. That's close. Yeah, you tell me. You let That's me know. That's close. I can't tell. What a weird angle from here. Can you see it? You know what, just say you're in. All right. Let's make it easy. Okay, so then his uh, fusion blade. I got a four. I got a five. Well then. Tentacle strike. Nope, it missed, so yeah. never mind. Uh, the other guy's gonna shoot. Okay. Two. Two? I got a one. All right, okay, here we go. Here we go, big money. Gotta roll a two. Big money, I got a four. He's dead. And I score. And you score, you go up three points. I go up three points, I'm a seven. Yay. Uh, crap. <laughs> All right, uh, it's, let's see what I got here. All right, I'm gonna summon the fulcrum. Seems good. 
And by fulcrum, I mean the oculus. And uh, yeah. Oh, it's not the end of the pulse round. Never mind. I think that's all I can do right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it is the final turn. It is turn three of pulse round three. So this is our last go each. Mm -hmm. First, I will take my one arc and put it on the Marauder. So I'm going to try and kill these two models and score this point. And I'm not going to knock the glass over. Yeah. That's important. That's, that's important. But like I said, if you got to go, what better way to go than to cross <laughs> by a plexiglass on a live stream? No, thank you. So the only activation token I have out is in the Weaver. Okay. Uh, so this turn is going to be the Jack and the Marauder going. For my first Cypher card, I guess I'm going to play, because you can't get anything over to my point. Uh, you never know. Fair. But most likely not, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, but also. I forgot to drop to five. Um, what's our line of sight looking like? Uh, yeah, we can kind of get in there. All right. Uh, I, oopsie going to play Ascension Catalyst on my jack. That's plus two speed and flight. So let's start off with the Scourge and have the Scourge go do some scourgy things. Speed eight with flight. I just want to get where I can see everybody. So he flies up here and he's like, hello friends. Yay. So let's go ahead and shoot the rocket pod into this fella here. Alrighty. Because I would love to blast the other two. I am just wide open. So no cover, except I had force barrier plate on them. So oh. they do have cover. Dun, dun, dun. Got a two. Uh, I got more than a two. All I right, got a so five. I still do the base damage of the rocket pod on the missed blast weapon. So that fella takes a three. That's enough to get him. Okay. Then I will do the nailer into. Oh, I'm mark them with the activation token. The fulcrum. So nailer from my scourge down into the fulcrum. I roll a two. Ah, uh, zero. Oh. Uh oh. This may do it. Uh, I rolled five. Yeah, that, that does it. Uh, and then at this point, it's elementary because I just have the Marauder go, stand on the point. Because these guys weren't within an inch. Well, he wasn't within an inch. Is this guy within an inch? Uh, I believe he is. Okay. No, okay. Let's take a look, though. Because if he's not, he's not. Yeah, he is. Okay. Then, so the jack will be done. So we'll have the Marauder go, stand on the point, it has one arc on it, meaning it gets to make all of its attacks, melee and ranged. It will try and punch that guy first with the claw. Do it. I rolled a six. All right, I got cover because yay. Uh, now I get melee. You're correct, never mind. I got three. Okay, beats him by three. Chat's pulling for you, Andy. Who is? The chat is pulling oh, for you to bring it back oh, around. Thank you guys. Uh, I, we'll see. I rolled an eight, <laughs> which I definitely kill that guy. Ah, oh, crap. So now the Marauders ends its turn within yep. space of that. He's not. Yeah, he's not inch. within that inch. So. So I score it. the last three. Tony puts me at fifteen, and that seals the game because because seven plus six is, is 13. thirteen. Yeah. So. Good game, Andy. Good game. Good, Good game. game. Lots of action around the table. Uh, normally we'd shake hands again, but... Uh, High five. High five. Uh, wow. Yeah. Um, th those Saber Strike Force fellows being able to potentially make three attacks each is horrifying. Yeah. 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 It's it's all about... And, and this is something that I'm just... Uh, as I, we play more and more, I need to get better at. The... Um, the activation management, I feel like, was, was my big weak point here. 
because I kept summoning stuff when I probably shouldn't have been to, to it, remove the stuff in the ready phase. Or you want to summon, um, you want to always summon in pairs, like if you can. Yeah. It helps to summon, like if you're, if you've already got one thing out with a, that doesn't have an activation token, you want to try and get at least a solo yeah. and something else. Now with yeah. the starter box, we've only got some. We only got token, yeah. Right, so you obviously, as you move out to your full size skirmish force, your options get a little bit more open. But even then, I mean, it's a, an actual just battle box game is still yeah. a complete game. Now, those guys are terrified. The demon is terrified. Right? I'm, 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 I'm not gonna lie, I'm hardcore ISA. I love, they're my favorite faction. Tony. And, uh, but playing with that, that demon and that Oculus and, and every, literally everything in this yes. battle box, I, I think this, these guys are gonna be my next faction, I think. Uh, Look at this thing. They're so cool. Just a really sweet looking model. And unfortunately, right. we didn't have the free cam because we've got the giant COVID uh, glass in place. So our camera, angles are a little bit, you know, restricted because obviously we can't do anything. But I really wish we could have shown you the look when he was standing oh. up here and the Scourge was down here. And, and the way the, the model is positioned, it looks like it is looking down at someone. So it just looked fantastic. Very cool. Yeah, great game. Uh, for those of you watching who want to check this out yourself, don't forget the Kickstarter is live right now. Yep. You can go to Kickstarter and look up Warcaster Collision Course and you will see the current Kickstarter, all the various pledge levels, the new faction, the new vehicles, and if you're looking to get one of the existing factions, there are, as you mentioned, new pledge levels that have like there an entire battle force. An entire battle force, and that includes new models as well, not just the old, uh, the old models from the Kickstarter. And if you want some of this, the original starters, you can get those as well on some of the, the other pledge levels. Like yep. You'll get that uh, yep. of course. Uh, again, Lane at uh, Tinker Turf. Thank you very, very much for donating this terrain that we got to use. It was fantastic to use. It added so much to the game. Um, 3D Terrain and Warcaster are like PB and J. So yeah, it, just really. was, it was absolutely fantastic. Thanks again, everybody, for joining us. I don't know when the next time we'll stream is. Obviously, the stream schedule right now is a little bit strange because of the pandemic times. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll let you know when the next one is. Until then, check us out at privateerpress.com. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And definitely, please, go check out the Kickstarter live right now. Yep. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. See you in the Kickstarter comments. <laughs>